All right, I thought I'd give a little uh, preview of the Bullet Racing uh, custom screens for the 808D. Uh, so you can just push the custom button and uh, it takes you to the landing page where it tells you your cur current tool and offsets. Uh, right now, uh, I want to warm the machine up to get it ready to work. So I'm just going to go into warm up. Uh, I'm going to warm up the XYZ. Uh, the spindle has run uh, less than 24 hours ago, and the Z up and down motion I want it to uh, occur at X and Y minimum. So uh, just make sure auto mode's on, hit warm up, and then just hit cycle start. So the first thing it does is moves to where it'll plunge, and it gives you a warning. It's going to move to negative 420. Uh, this stuff you can all set in the settings for the screens, by the way, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm happy, so I'm going to push cycle start. There's a small dwell uh, while the uh, spindle uh, starts. And you'll see it'll go to negative 420. And then back up. Uh, you can set where that happens in case, like me, you've got a fourth axis installed. So. And it'll just go to uh, x, y, 0, and then back to x, y, min. And, uh, yeah, it, in the background it uses my warm-up program, if you're familiar with it. So it'll tell you what the maximum speed is that it's going to hit, uh, based on which warm-up you decide to do, and how much time is left. So, once the machine's warmed up, uh, I've got, uh, I've got uh, to put a new tool in. So we'll put that in the spindle and then measure it using the custom screens too. Okay, so I've just loaded uh, my quarter inch tool in here. So measuring with the custom screens, again you go to custom, uh, then you go to tool probe. Uh, the current tool is T12D1, which is exactly the one I want to do, and it tells you the length and radius here. So again, just make sure auto mode's on and we want to measure length only. So, hit cycle start, and then it's going to uh, just do a check here, make sure that what you see is correct, and then hit cycle start again, and then it will perform the measurement. And you can watch the, the number update on the screen, so there we go. So, um, it makes it super easy. Uh, I've also tried uh, things like uh, the calibration and stuff like that, and everything works very well. I recalibrated the tool probe and the spindle probe using this, and everything is great. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, we'll use the uh, custom screens for probing in this piece of round uh, that I've got in the vise. Okay, so now uh, we've got the wireless probe in the spindle, and we're going to set the uh, work offset to be the center of that cylinder. Uh, so uh, I haven't pre-done this as a test or anything, so we'll kind of muddle, muddle our way through uh, in real life, I guess. Uh, so we go into custom screens, uh, we'll go work probe, and then we're going to do a single point to start. I'll set the z-axis first. So I want to set G54. Uh, the approach distance is 10, uh, which I forget exactly what that's for. So first things first, we will uh, move the um, uh, spindle probe into position for just a, a quick Z probe. So I'm just doing this one hand, it's a bear with me. So we want to be within 10 millimeters of this top surface. Just going to move over here. We're going to call that good. So uh, I believe I'm within 10 millimeters from the surface. So uh, we're just doing uh, Z minus. So we're going to go Z minus. It's going to overwrite stuff, sure. And then 
stress cycles start to proceed. So I've got the feed rate knob on zero. So uh, I'm going to now increase the feed rate and just make sure everything seems okay. So I like to do it slow the first time. So it's telling us uh, it was successful and that's what the Z ops, uh, the Z, uh, new Z offset is. Uh, now this uh, might just be a glitch in the uh, settings or it is, um, if we go into the configuration, and we go, so here's, here is the issue. So it was set to M code. So if you're using an actual Pioneer probe or a, a, a Renishaw or something, and there's an actual macro to turn on and off the probe, you would set this to M code. But for something like the Drewtronics, you have to set it to manual. So we'll go OK. And then we'll say yes, that'll override it. So now uh, we'll reset. We'll go back into, sorry, this is like the worst video ever, back into single point. And then we're just going to repeat that. So again, I'm going to bring the override to zero. And we're in auto mode. We're in a good spot. So I'm going to say Z minus. And then cycle start to proceed. And then again. I'll do it once. We're not going to get a warning this time. And if I was on single block, uh, it would have given us the uh, results up here. But uh, So I'm going to do this again. So I'm going to go Z, OK, but this time at 100%. So it's accurate measurements. And I'll just hit cycle start. Perfect. So there, the Z is set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jog over to the roughly the center of the uh, of the, the cylinder here. So okay, so now we're going to set the X and Y to be the center of the cylinder. So I've located the probe uh, roughly in the middle of this uh, cylinder. Uh, we're going to come along and go back into the custom screens, work probe, bore boss. It has a diameter of 50.8. And uh, we're going to go minus 8. Minus 8 below the um, surface of the part to try and pick up on some clean material. And I think that's it. I'm going to turn the feed override to zero. We're going to hit uh, Pro Boss. Hit OK. It says hit cycle start, so we'll do that. And then I'll slowly let the override come up and just make sure it's doing what we expect. So yes, this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to let it do it once slowly. Kind of like I do with everything. I just do it once slowly so I can stop it if something doesn't look right. And then I'm going to do it quickly. Now because this is finding the center of four points, it shouldn't technically matter what speed you do the measuring at. Things like single point definitely matter because the, the, uh, the speed that you calibrate it at should be the speed that you measure at. So I'm going to turn the feed rate up to 100% now. And then I'm going to basically do this again. So probe boss, hit OK. And I'm going to hit cycle start. So this is at full speed. And you can make it go as fast as you want. Uh, but for me, this is fast enough. So that's it. So how close were we when I roughly centered the probe? Uh, that's how far off I was. That's pretty darn good, actually. <laughs> that's surprising. So, um, yeah, uh, that's how easy it is. I mean, I, <laughs> I've been really enjoying these. Uh, you know, in obviously the warm-up super cool, and you, like I said, there's a config section, so you can set 
you know, set all the parameters to be like how you want it to be. Um, and then uh, Tool Probe has calibration, the Work Probe has calibration. Um, and when you're measuring tools, you can actually perform a tool change here, which is really handy if you're going to measure a bunch of different tools. So yeah, I've uh, I've really been enjoying using these. You know, this is the first time I've got to actually use the probing. Normally I would have had to do this in Fusion, and that would have taken a bit of extra effort for sure. So uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to machine this one side of the part, and then I've got to probe it again. So maybe I'll do another quick video of probing the other side of the, the part for Op2. So it's going to be, this is kind of sketchy work holding. And uh, Op2, uh, I won't disappoint with the sketchy work holding uh, with that one either. So stay tuned. Okay, so I completed op one on this part and I flipped it over. It's not the greatest work holding, but we're gonna take it easy. It's a one off part. Uh, so now I put the probe kind of roughly in the center and I already set Z like we did before. Uh, and again, just on the probe boss screen, diameter, uh, distance below the face. Um, I already ran this once so I can do it at 100%. So you just press Pro Boss and then cycle start to proceed. And it's going to get this set for us for up two. Uh, optional stop at the very last second so it tells us some information uh, it tells us uh, so I, like I said I ran this once before so it's telling us the difference it was from last time so we're we're in the um, in the neighborhood of one micron or less from the last time I measured this and the diameter is 50.816 and I just loosely with my calipers, I think I thought it was like 50.83 or something like that. Uh, so um, that all worked well. We can hit cycle start to end it. And that's it. It's uh, set and ready to go for op 2.